In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on November 27, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on the these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Seattle Kraken vs. Anaheim Ducks The Seattle Kraken face the Anaheim Ducks with both teams on opposite ends of the standings to start the season. The Kraken have a 12-5-3 record and a four-game winning streak has catapulted them into second place in the Pacific Division. The Ducks have a 6-14-1 record and with only three wins in their last 10 games, they have the worst record in the Pacific Division. Both teams are looking to improve within the division and the Western Conference and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. Seattle is 4 0 in their last four games and 1 6 in their last seven Sunday games. The under is 8 1 in Seattle's last nine games and the under is 5 2 in their last seven Sunday games. Anaheim is 5 14 in their last 19 home games and 14 42 in their last 56 games. The under is 5 0 in Anaheim's last five home games and the under is 7 1 in their last eight games. This will be the fifth matchup all time of these two teams since Seattle were introduced a season ago, and while they've taken three of those four games, including including their only game in 2022, but given the level of performance the Kraken have been putting in thus far, it's easy to understand why they are the heavy favorite, even on the road. On the road, the Kraken hold a 6-1-1 record thus far in 2022, with their only loss coming to the Blackhawks back in October, and with a crucial three-game road trip that includes a win over Vegas and a matchup against the Kings on Tuesday, and if they can continue to play well on the road, this is a team that will be tough to beat down the stretch. Seattle has been playing great hockey this season and is coming off of a nice road win against Vegas. Anaheim has struggled and has been outscored by a total of 16-6 in their last four games. Anaheim does have the home ice in this matchup, but that didn't matter in their last game. So the Seattle Kraken Money's line is our full game side pick. The Kraken are led by their offense and both teams look to find the back of the net throughout the upcoming game. The Ducks should create plenty of scoring chances with Troy Terry, Trevor Zegras, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Kraken, who have scored 18 goals in the last four games, should run up the score against the Ducks, who allow 4.19 goals per game, with Andre Burakovsky, Jordan Eberl, Jared McCann, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with great puck movement while Vince Dunn and Justin Schultz generate shots on the net from the blue line. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Vancouver Canucks vs. San Jose Sharks Neither the Vancouver Canucks or the San Jose Sharks have been consistently good thus far in 2022, but both have shown flashes of being very tough teams to beat. And on Sunday night, two talented Pacific Division teams will do battle as they look to turn their 2022-2023 seasons around. Unless a major turnaround happens, both of these teams look like being sellers at the trade deadline, with the likes of Bo Horvat and Timo Meyer potentially on the move. But until that happens, both of these teams will be looking to compete and build momentum going forward, making the clash between number 6 and number 7 in the Pacific Division even more crucial to the remainder of the year. The Canucks are 5-11 in their last 16 road games and 14-45 in their last 59 games playing on zero days rest. The Sharks are 7-19 in their last 26 home games and 17-45 in their last 62 overall. The over is 38-18-2 in Canucks' last 58 overall. The over is 11-3-1 in Sharks' last 15 overall. The Canucks are 4-1 in the last 5 meetings in San Jose and 5-0 in the last 5 meetings. The favorite is 19-7 in the last 26 meetings. 
the Vancouver Canucks haven't experienced much success in recent times, but each team in the NHL has an opponent that they fare very well against. And for Vancouver, that opponent is their division rival in the Sharks. And with three meetings between the two sides over the next month, if that success continues, Vancouver may be able to use that to build momentum. In the last five head-to-head -head meetings, Vancouver is a perfect 5-0, with a 4-1 record in the past five meetings in San Jose. And with so much talent, it's only a matter of time until Vancouver begin a big winning streak, which could certainly begin against their division rival on Sunday night. So the San Jose Sharks' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have been led by their offenses and the upcoming game should reflect that with both forward units stepping up and finding the back of the net throughout the game. The Sharks should create plenty of scoring chances against a Canucks defense that allows 3.9 goals per game with Timo Meyer, Tomas Hurdle, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Canucks, who average 3.5 goals per game, should run up the score against a Sharks defense that has allowed 13 goals in the last two games with Elias Pettersson, Bo Horvat, JT Miller, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with great puck movement while Quinn Hughes picks apart the Sharks from the point. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Ottawa Senators vs. Los Angeles Kings The Ottawa Senators will travel to the Crypto.com Arena on Sunday night to take on the Los Angeles Kings in a non-conference matchup. The Senators are coming off a 5-1 road win on Friday against the Anaheim Ducks. The Kings are coming off a 5-2 road win on Friday over the San Jose Sharks. This will be the first of two games against one another so it will be interesting here. The Senators are 55-134 in their last 189 road games and 3-11 in their last 14 overall. The Kings are 5-1 in their last 6 home games and 7-1 in their last 8 Sunday games. The under is 7-0 in Senators' last 7 overall. The under is 9 to 2 to 1 in Kings last 12 Sunday games. The Senators are 1 to 4 in the last 5 meetings in Los Angeles. The home team is 5 to 2 in the last 7 meetings. There is a bit of frustration in the air in Ottawa early on this season. There was optimism after one of the stronger off seasons in the NHL that looked like would speed up their rebuild. But Ottawa finds themselves 7-12-1 to to with the T2 fewest points in the NHL. The Senators have dropped 11 out of their last 14 games and 7 out of their last 9 on the road. In 5 of their last 6 losses, the Senators have lost by more than 1 goal with an average loss by 2.67 goals in those games. When they score, their goal prevention isn't picking them up. When they minimize damage, their goal scoring isn't picking them up. Ottawa just can't seem to put it all together on the same night and that has resulted in losses. The Kings have had a good month as they have points in 10 of their last 14 games. They have won 5 of their last 6 games at home. Their per game statistics are not anything special. Nonetheless, they have both scored more and allowed less goals per game than the Senators. Their record and position in the standings indicate they are able to find more consistency and put it all together on the same night despite their average underlying numbers. The Ottawa Senators just can't get out of their own way with a lousy defense and the losses are getting out of control. Of course, the Senators have been fade material on the road over the years. The Los Angeles Kings have their issues as well, but they're more trustworthy at both ends of the ice and have been able to scratch out a win here and there. The Kings have not done anything particularly special thus far this season, but they don't have to do anything special to beat this Senators team by a couple goals. Until this Ottawa team finds some consistent success, they just are not a reliable pick. So the Los Angeles Kings money line is our full game side pick. Looking at the defensive outputs in their previous five games, Ottawa is giving up 3.2 goals per game in that stretch while Los Angeles is allowing three goals per game in that same length of time. These teams are both coming off solid defensive games on Friday, so that means they are going to have momentum to get some stops. You have two of the worst defensive clubs in the league and the over seems like a foregone conclusion. However, neither of these teams are lighting the lamp with any kind of consistency. The teams are averaging 6.37 goals per game combined and the trends are leaning toward a low-scoring affair. The under is 4-1-1 to one to one in their last six games against one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.